Oh hey everyone, Fear Crawler here. Welcome to the video. Mini Crawler and I were just listening to the weather here. Seems like we got a bit of a thunderstorm moving into the area. I mean, things are okay for right now, but I'm worried later we might have a blackout. I heard when a blackout happens, a serial killer comes to your house and murders you. Oh, Mini Crawler, that's just one of those internet hoaxes. Like, like coronavirus. But I've learned about COVID in school. Oh, no, you didn't. We both know you've never been to school. Anyway, today's video deals with darkness of a different sort. I hope you enjoy. What do you think of when you hear the word solitary confinement? Do you think of darkness? Do you think of isolation? Do you think of loneliness? Honestly, it's all those things. I've been in solitary confinement for a while now. I can't really give you an exact number. I stopped counting the days in my head when I realized that the amount of time passing made no difference. I wouldn't be getting out of here anytime soon, so keeping track of time wouldn't benefit me. How does it feel here? What's it like? I'll tell you. It's lonely. It took me a few days before I realized just how lonely this feels. There was a time when I didn't crave human interaction. I despised people. I couldn't stand to look at them, be near them, or smell them. I couldn't tolerate the sounds of their voices, their mannerisms, or their faces. It felt like a sensory overload just being out in public among them. I'd get these blinding headaches after being around them for only a few minutes. It's the reason I've only ever held night jobs with busy work and limited human interactions. It's also the reason I started drinking heavily and popping large doses of aspirin after every single public outing I had to make, like when buying food or clothing. I think the constant temperature here was what started getting to me next. You've probably felt cold at night at some point and wrapped yourself up in a blanket to get warm. Or maybe you felt hot and sticky on a summer evening, and you had to throw the blankets on the floor just to let your skin cool down. For you, it's an inconvenience or a simple annoyance. But I'd give anything to feel cold or hot. I've never felt either since I've been here. I've felt neither hotness nor coldness. Yes, solitary confinement is also dark completely opaque. It's the most noticeable aspect of being here like this, and it's also the most unnerving. The longer you sit in the darkness, the more your other senses try to compensate for the lack of stimuli. Do you hear that clock in the background? Has it gotten louder to you since I started this story? Were you closing your eyes just now to experience the darkness with me? I can feel the vibrations in my brain every time that clock ticks. It's the only stimulation I have here, but I'd give anything for it to stop right now. So how did I get here inside the cell? I murdered someone. That's right. I took a life. She was a 16-year-old girl with a brand new car. I hear she was beautiful. I didn't even get to see her that way, though. I had been drinking heavily again when I made the extremely poor decision to drive to the convenience store for more aspirin to quell yet another headache. I didn't even see the red light. All that registered into my drunken mind was the impact. The broken glass. 
The strawberry blonde hair attached to the mangled head poking through the broken windshield and the shimmer of red liquid cascading down the hood of her car. I drifted in and out of consciousness as the EMTs arrived and tried to stabilize me. I still remember the voices of her parents as they screamed in emotional agony over the loss of their daughter. Her name was Emma. That's a pretty name. I never got to tell them I'm sorry, but sorry would never bring her back. So here I am. What do you think of when you hear the word solitary confinement? Do you think of darkness? Do you think of isolation? Do you think of loneliness? Honestly, it's all those things. Solitary confinement can even be your own body. Can you still hear the clock? It sounds different today. I just want it to stop. Did you like that ending? Did you? Got kind of dark, didn't it? No one thinks your dad jokes are funny. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning until further notice. Uh oh What the? We're gonna have to go duck and cover right now. Looks like we got a tornado coming. Until next time, everybody take care, be safe, and above all, stay, stay scared. scared.